I kind of talked to my wife and I said, Ashley, if you really wanted that new expedition, you didn't have to wreck your Explorer with my kids in it to get that. What's up guys, my name is Mitchell Watts and welcome to my channel. This is our secondary channel to Town & Country TV that we normally post regular content as far as Ford F-150s, Ford Expeditions, pickup trucks, sports cars, that kind of a thing. This secondary channel, I wanted this to be an opportunity for me just to kind of show you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to live and work inside of the car business and uh, just thought this would be a good opportunity and today's video is going to be probably, uh, thankfully, the end ending of it is pretty good, but uh, it's going to be one of the most interesting stories I've had in quite some time. So my wife the other day was driving her personal Explorer and she was doing the nice thing for our neighbors and she was dropping off some Gatorade for their little boy that was had the stomach virus. You know, just kind of something nice to do for him. Well, she gets out of the car to drop off that Gatorade with all three of my kids in the back seat, by, mind you. Actually, it's her kids too, but on that day it was her kids. Uh, <laughs> but uh, she gets out of the car with the car still running because it's cold outside. And uh, so she gets out of the car to drop off the Gatorade and realizes that she left the car in drive with it running. Normally that wouldn't be a big issue or wouldn't be a big deal because, you know, it would bump into something and it would stop and everything is okay. However, my neighbor's yard has a flat yard and then it is a serious drop. Uh, not a cliff, but I mean, very, very, as you can see right there on the screen, it's a very, very steep hill. Well, all three of my kids thankfully were buckled up in their car seats and they rode it down and they didn't they didn't exactly uh, like it but uh, more on that here in just a second but my wife is literally chasing that vehicle half the way down that hill uh, trying to get back in to save her babies that's what she's trying to do she's putting herself in harm's way trying to get those kids back to safety when she realized that uh, about halfway running down that hill she wasn't going to be able to catch the car uh, she ended up getting tripped up by the briars and got completely cut up and scarred up from those briars the car drives all the way down that embankment and then when that embankment starts to come back up it ends up hitting the embankment which is such a blessing because if it would have hit any of those five or six trees on the way down it would have flipped that vehicle no questions asked and so thankfully all three of the kids ended up uh, safe they all had lacerations on their neck from the car seats but i want to make sure that i use this as an opportunity to make sure that every time your kids are in the car make sure they're buckled up i'm convinced that if they would have not been in their seats strapped in one of them would have gone through the windshield so if you fast forward on the story just a little bit, we actually had to call two different tow trucks to get that vehicle out. It ended up using well over 100 feet worth of winch cable to get the truck out. Um, and yeah, that, that was pretty interesting. Uh, but if you fast forward, we had the thing towed back to the dealership. And I, I, if you guys subscribe to this channel, I'm going to keep you guys updated on how Geico Insurance is going to do as far as uh, uh, paying a claim is concerned, how well they do as far as the claim process. Right now, they're doing a pretty darn good job. I'll let you know how all that ends up later on in the, some of the other videos. But um, it, it's something that you need to realize is that you always want to make sure that you're covered with comprehensive insurance. Um, and that's once again another it's video that we'll cover you later on but when my wife first called me about the accident I rushed home absolutely immediately when I got home you know she was crying she was devastated because she felt like she was a bad mother for making that mistake and I explained to her you know hey it's it's okay you we know that it wasn't done on purpose it was just a total accident but you got to slow down every time you get in the car you have to slow down and uh, my wife said this, not me. She said, this is she. Oh, this is so terrible because this is such a typical woman accident. And I'm like, I'm not allowed to say that, but you said it, not me. <laughs> Much later on that day when everything kind of subsided as far as the accident's concerned, we knew everybody was okay. I kind of talked to my wife and I said, Ashley, if you really wanted that new expedition, you didn't have to wreck your Explorer with my kids in it to get that. It would have been much cheaper if you would have just told me about it. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is the fact that the new expedition, the new Fusion, and also the new Edge, with a couple of other vehicles coming down very soon, they don't have a normal transmission shifter handle. 
they actually have a rotary dial and I used to think that that dial was kind of gimmicky I used to think that yeah it was nice because it freed up a little extra space inside the cabin of the vehicle but I truly did not realize the value of the safety feature Ford has built into that shifter and what happens if you're driving and you come to a stop you get out of the vehicle the truck will automatically put the vehicle in park even if you forget to so I think it's awesome that Ford Motor Company might be saving thousands of people's lives with that little small little safety feature. And there you have it. That is our very first video on the channel, Mitchell Watts. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that way I can give you the updates on how Geico Insurance is doing with the accident, what did the collision center do specifically to fix the vehicle, and a lot of different content and behind the scenes funny stories as far as working in the car industry. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.